The Liberian economy is booming here in Monrovia. IT businesses are on the rise. From web shops to computer stores to internet cafes are flooding the town. There's a big pool of ideas, but not every business manages to stay afloat. A successful business sails on professional skills, a solid business plan, and a charismatic entrepreneur. In this series, eight entrepreneurs take the plunge to pitch their ideas for setting up their own IT business right here in Monrovia. They may have the skills. As technology is advancing, things are also moving. I'm asking for 5,000 as a loan. But they lack the funds. Witness these promising entrepreneurs swim off with 5,000 US dollars. Which one of the eight contestants will keep their head above water and convince the jury? I know what we've mean. heard. We've yeah. heard what we need to do. Yeah, I think we're worried. For me, it's just adding news. It's going down. So why are you bothering to go to people who don't have money? Meet the jury. These are experts in the business sector. These lifeguards will confront each entrepreneur with critical questions about their business ideas. These very lifeguards will decide who will swim or who will sink. In the last episode, both entrepreneurs sank. Today, Calvin, Masa, our girl, pitch their IT business. First up, Calvin. Come on, Calvin. Swim, swim, swim. Good evening, our dynamic judges. Standing before you, and Calvin T. City, the proprietor and CEO of the Unisi Enterprise Technology, a desktop publishing company that will be offering designings and printing services and computer work documents. Uh, this company is a company of innovative and creative services that we will be offering. Our services will be at the Ghanasville, Somalia Drive, New Georgia Junction. So we decided to establish this desktop publishing services at this New York Junction. Thank you for your presentation. Um, first question, looking at your plan, uh, your target market seems to highlight schools. I'm just wondering how much printing, uh, you know, have you done any analysis on how much printing that schools actually do? Because I would think they don't do as much as commercial yes. businesses. School do so many printing, printing or tests. They print their tests, computerized their tests. So that is an advantage for me. They do publication. So that's also is an advantage for me from the schools. And there are so many schools, a lot of schools surrounding that area. The only thing that you offer is that you have proximity, you are close to the people there. That's the only thing you need to offer. What else? The advantage I have, I will have the full equipment. The full equipment. And I have a marketing strategies to break my customer. Your wife is marketing strategy. Where is your marketing strategy? Is your brain. So there's no one in Garnersville doing desktop printing? No, they are not. Some people, they are into internet services. I'm right at the center of a New York Junction. Yes, yeah, so that entire area, that entire area, there is no uh, desktop publishing, uh, graphic design as well. Let's talk about your investment plan for one second, Calvin. You, in your plan, so there was no limits placed on the amount of money you could ask for, okay? But you only have one piece of equipment for each of the services that you're going to be providing. So there's one copy machine, there's one binding machine, there's one printer, one scanner, one laminator. What if one of these machines breaks down? Yeah, if, if it's break down, we repair it. How did you estimate your revenue? The amount to 29,326 for the first year. There are no assumptions. What are the services are you provide that will able to generate this income? Uh, the services that I'm going to run out to these people to generate this revenue is going to do per school 
the churches, but a restaurant, a service, service time. My yeah. friend, How? in New Georgia, 29,000 US dollars. And of course, you're going to print it now. It is that easy to make so much money. And you're charging one dollar US yeah, yeah. for one photocopy. So if I want to copy this judging sheet, I have to pay you one dollar US dollar. for that. So that is not one dollar. Photocopy is not one dollar. Photocopy is two for five. It's not one dollar. No, on your business plan it says USD one dollar per printed copy. This is just a lot of assumption. I don't think there's so much money to make there to do this job. I don't think you have researched the market very well. Because right now you are drowning, you know. Somebody got to save you because you are going down. I'm swimming. What I'm saying. You know the cost of printing one sheet in the US? It's 10 cents on average. And there are tons of printers if you go into town on brush up and down the street with nothing but a printer plugged into an electrical socket on the street. And they're not charging a dollar USD. So if you're reaching out to churches and schools, I don't understand how you think you're going to make this money. The point is, put this money on you. I'm not sure you are going to get the return back because your, your business is too basic. It can easily be copied. We've heard what we need to do. Yeah, I think we're For me, I didn't use. It's going down. Calvin, um, decent service, decent idea. I think you need to work on your pricing, and I'm sure if I go to Garnersville tomorrow, I can find somebody printing at a cheaper price. So for me, this is a sinking business opportunity. It's a swimming because it's the cheapest so far. Yeah, exactly. Sinking, talking. You know the point, man. Calvin, really, nothing personal, but the point is, from your business plan, for me, the real problem is that it is too basic. You know, competition can easily wipe you out. You won't be able to be back in it. You need to be more creative. I think I agree with everyone. I think you have the potential to swim. I can see it in your body language. I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your fervor. I can see it. But what you've given us here is not swimming yet, right? So something needs to happen. You need to figure out what it's going to take to go from sinking to swimming. Calvin's idea had potential, but the lifeguards still flushed him out of the game. Next up, IT entrepreneurs, Masa and Julius. Let's see if they will swim. Services that we will run in order for BCS to get money, we run a website design and development, website update and maintenance, website hosting, website redesign, and created artworks. We can do with logos and other graphics. Our marketing strategy will market our services through social networks, Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, Festo, and also we'll have to engage the customer's face-to-face -face interaction to get the customer feedback. Our marketing distribution will only be the startup and small businesses in Morovia. Your target customer, small businesses and what? Yes, small startup and small businesses. So you know they don't have money? We know. Now you want to provide a service to, to companies that don't have money. How are you going to generate revenue? I know that they don't have money, but I got to reduce the cost, the price of the website design and also got to convince them my question is, why are you bothering to go to people who don't have money? I start up in small businesses in Liberia, don't have websites, and do not market their product on the internet. And moreover, they might not make much money. But we do have our marketing strategy that we we'll put into place that we can talk to you, we have a website for you uh, for a certain length of time, and then for, when that length of time is expired, you'll be able to pay us. If you want to get money for the, the idea is good, the idea is nice, but I think your target market cannot support the revenue that you're looking for. I think, uh, I disagree with my fellow judge. I think uh, that there are some small businesses, maybe not startup, but there are definitely small businesses in Liberia that need to be able to market their products online. I also had a question about your human resources. I didn't see anybody who really had a, a skill set as far as writing or editing or researching. And those are key components to the service that you want to provide. For me, it's a, it's a sink. Okay. The, 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 the question, the answer I'm looking for is that uh, how the 
prices are compared to people who are now providing these services. My competitors, because I did my research and I do have a friend who are in the same website business, he charged $1,500, $2,000. I, I, I actually know that if you want to get a good website, you should be willing to pay about $1,500, $2,000. Masa, how much are you paying Bluehost? I'm paying Bluehost $99, $100, divided almost $100 per month. So for a space, for me to get a 500 gigabyte space, a big space to host my customers. And how much are you paying Lone Star Cell Antenna? $45 per month uh, through the internet modem. So half of the money that you're getting for the site is, is not yours? Half of the money I'm getting from the site. No, it's not mine. I think there's a customer base that will. So for me, you're swimming. Swim, swim, Judges. swim. Sink. Thank you're you, swimming. Masa. Okay. Thank you for your presentation. Thank you. Calvin drowns. Masa wins five thousand U.S. dollars to give her business a boost. This is what we do on Sink or Swim. On the next episode, we need the amount of nine thousand two hundred to achieve this. For us, we're going to charge you seventy-five dollars per hour. The question is, will they sink or will they swim?